welcome to feeding time. Beautiful Sunday morning here at the uh, Palace de la Begay. And today, guys, we got a very busy day, so I'm knocking out this first video fairly early in the morning, and I'm doing a McDonald's breakfast cheat meal. We have hash browns. I have a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. I have this spicy McBisc spicy chicken biscuit sandwich. I got sausage burritos. We got more hash browns, more information. I need more information. We're gonna go at it. I'm going hard in the paint this morning. I'm uh, gearing up. I got my, uh, by the time this is out, it will already have happened, but leading into a, uh, my stem cell procedure on my shoulder, number 15, over the last three years. It's been um, quite the journey. Shut the fuck up and just eat. Can't scream too loud. It's pretty early. I don't need Aaron and Jeffrey coming outside with their fucking kids. You know, somebody got really mad at me once on here. And lectured me, and I think I went off on it before. Not like went off, but... On how I had no responsibilities and that I didn't have a wife and kids. And I'm like, well, listen here, fucking Jeffrey. This one was a Jeffrey. A lot of responsibilities, a lot. But, but picking a wife and, and having kids is the most important decision you can ever make. And one that most people fucking get wrong. Patience. Patience is key. I like to be right. If you haven't noticed. All right. There's your little life fucking lesson, guys. For the Jeffries and Karens that have had 17 divorces out there. There's nothing wrong with it. I just prefer not to have any and keep all my shit. Okay? All right, we're going to go sausage egg McMuffin first. I haven't had one of these in forever. I was out by the pool. Way too long the other day. A couple friends came over. Hot Brazilians. Chicas. Bonitas. And I got burned. Bad. Not bad, but... I was out here flaunting my muscles, prancing around. Good guy. It was a good guy. I got a lot of work done too, actually. Before they got here and after. my wake up unlimited energy pink lemonade I love this shit every morning McDonald's on the bag actually has put stickers to remind people <clears throat> and I don't know how I feel about this because this stuff is let's be honest I mean, you guys I work out really fucking hard I'm talking hours hard weights conditioning I do this meal once a week to show you guys my personality so that you guys can actually fucking know me and not believe stupid dirt sheets or stupid fucking internet basement dwelling virgins 
that, that only have experience with pocket pussies. I'm trying to talk to you guys and let you know the real me so that the bullshit just goes away. Because it will when you really know somebody. But don't be eating this shit all the time, guys. I'm not endorsing this stuff. I don't have a food deal with Ronald McDonald and the fucking Hamburglar fucking doing a fucking handshake for money with the Feed Me More slogan. I'm not about that. If I ever attach Feed Me More to a food place, it's gonna be it's gonna be for something healthy. I, I will not be part of the uh, '80s and '90s celebrities and superstars of 2000s fucking doing deals with Sprite and fucking Coke and all that other shit. If you guys do want to hit me up though, the big guy at feedmemore.com, Coke Sprite, Dr. Pepper. Um, I'm kidding. It says so on this bag. Going out is overrated. They have stickers. Aren't you glad you stayed in? And it has two of them going out as overrated. I don't know. That's not the message. I, I get it with everything going on. I get it. I get it. But I think we, we now know the numbers are coming in. And, and I get it. I don't think we... Guys, stay in and just enjoy this. Going out's overrated. Be a fat piece of shit. Let that immune system get compromised before you go back out into the world again, Karen and Jeffrey. Mmm. Oh shit, this is a spicy chicken biscuit. I've never had this before. This hot sauce I think is for the sausage burrito, but this needs a little sauce on it. These biscuits are, are really dry. Let's see how this is. Oh. That was a good decision. Ran upstairs and shaved my head real quick for this video. I like to shave my head every other day. Always have stuck to that routine. WWE? Wrestling? It's a sign of laziness when you see people when they grow their hair out and they let themselves go. And this is not, you know like Hunter, when Hunter did that video for whatever the bump thing or whatever they do? You look like he hadn't fucking... If I'm invested in that company and I see that guy show up and do a video looking like that, <laughs> no thank you. You take care of yourself. Because it's just a sign of laziness. My opinion. Sorry, Jeffrey, I mean to spit on you. Fuck you. And that's not everyone, a lot of people do it. I always stay on top of it. Everything, just shave the head every two days. Shave the neckline. You don't want people meeting you. And they, man, that Ryback looks like he really let himself go for a few days. He must be having a rough few days. Every day's a great day that I'm alive. I get to live power of I get to over I have to. Every time you catch yourself saying I have to, slap yourself like that, you little bitch. You get to. Put that in your fucking pocket for the day, guys. Another little tip from the big guy. I think I'm gonna, my friend Dolph Ziggler has some cactus in the backyard. I think I need some cactus. He did a workout video the other day and he could, there was a huge cactus behind him. And I was going to type out and just leave it. But even I felt a little weird with this one. I just, I typed out, that's a huge prick. Then I put a cactus emoji. I really didn't feel good about myself with that. I don't know why. I just felt like, and it was funny and I, we laugh all the time like assholes. But I just knew somebody wasn't going to understand it, even with the cactus, and the cactus clearly evident in the background. I just chose not to put it out. So I put it out here on video instead, so I can explain it thoroughly. Mm, more hash browns. I might lose a little ketchup for this one. It's always fun, though. We'll text each other. And then sometimes we don't. Sometimes it'll just be a random firing on Twitter. Then we text laughing hysterically how worked up. 
some people get. Literally could put a picture out and go, me and Dolph Ziggler are, are great friends. And then we start the little deal, and they buy into it right away. People just want to be worked, I tell you. And they love to get worked up. I laugh all the way. I laugh all the way to the bank. Because what happens, too, usually is like that stuff will get mass circulated on a, on a better level. It just gives me more supplements. <laughs> Thank you, Karen and Jeffrey. I'm glad you think I suck, but my bank account doesn't. But yours does. I'm kidding, guys. That's only for the asshole people. They're pieces of shit. These are gone. Oh, this is the good stuff. I've often wondered how many hash browns like these I could eat. Did I just come up with a new YouTube video possibly? How many McDonald's hash browns with ketchup could the big guy Ryback eat? Leave it in the comments. What do you guys think? You think I could eat a hundred of them? Fuck, I better do 10 hours of cardio but leading up to that one. Go ahead and throw a little, little burrito in the mix here. Oh, I gotta make griddle too. I forgot I gotta make griddle. I'm a real piece of shit today. Dickhead back here eating. Who's that hot sauce? I need another, ooh, another hash. Did they give me, I get an extra hash brown from Ronald McDonald? My lucky day. Oh, there's that hot sauce. Hot picante. Muy caliente, amigo. I don't know how we're gonna do We're just gonna do a little little drizzle on the top here. We're not opening this thing up. We gotta save that for the other burrito. Look at my bite mark. I gotta save for those. These were not expensive. These came out really good. Ah. Feel my head. I feel head. The sun. It gets hot. It's getting hot here again. Fuck, I have some choices here what I'm gonna go with. This is a big McDonald's sheet meal. I bet you I did this. I bet you this is close to 2,000 calories. That's more than a lot of people should have in the day. For me, it's probably about not quite half of my calories I need for the day, but. Today is going to be the other videos I'm doing. I don't think there are going to be any other food related videos today. And I'll just eat my green beans and broccoli and vegetarian diet for the rest of the day. Okay, I don't want to go to the. Do I have another spicy chicken? I do. Shit. And I only have enough hot sauce for. Fuck, I'm in the real pickle here. Speaking of pickles, do you guys see those Sandlot kids are like doing get togethers? Or they did, they have done get-togethers. Really made me happy seeing Benny the Jet beefed up. I gotta tell you, I'm a little concerned he's been hanging out with Sammy Sosa and Barry Bonds. Sammy while he played, not Sammy Michael Jackson. It's, uh, holy fuck, that guy. I grew up loving that. Sammy Sosa, he's injecting, he's doing that shit to make his skin white. Man, all the power to you, whatever you want to do, but like, I just can't imagine it. Like, there's some real deep, I would spend the money on a psych. Psychologist, fuck, I could bring him here for, fuck, give me a million. I'll fucking help sort that shit out. I'll play Dr. Phil for you, Sosa. Give you some supplements, too. Get you bigger than when you were on the juice. Okay, let's just go with the chicken. I'm looking at, I know you guys can't see the food. Some of you think I'm probably switching it out with, like, something else still. I'm going to actually go, I don't, I can't go ketchup on this. 
we'll go the hot sauce. We gotta put something on this. This spicy chicken could have done with a sauce on it. A little mayo, breakfast mayo blend. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna be stuffed after this. That's what she said. These biscuits are tough. Not tough, they're just as far as, you know, very, they can dry your mouth out. So they got biscuits. I think my neighbors are subscribed to Ryback TV. Fuck, if I live next to me, I'd be. Entertaining channel. Just got to 225,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Seriously, thank you. Shit. Okay. I think we're saving the McGriddle for last. Fuck, this is so much food. I still have another burrito, too. And a hash brown. Why did I get so much food? I'm just like a bottomless pit. Never, never satisfied. I always want more. I'm always hungry. Just sit out here, 24-hour marathon, stuffing my face. These came out, I'm telling you. These were the these were the surprise of the day. These little sausage burritos. Whoever was working the little burrito department at McDonald's, throwing them in the little easy bake oven, wrapping these, job well done today, guys. You fucking came through big time. Essential Eric and the gang down at Mickey D's really fucking coming through. Oh. Do another hash brown here. What is that? Three freaking hash browns? It's like a reset doing these. You can be getting full, then you go to the hash brown and you get hungry again. I wonder what they're putting in these. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit. <clears throat> Need to get a little burp out, a little burp ski. We're out, now time for the main event. The sausage, egg and cheese McGriddle with sugary fat fuck. What are these? McGriddles. Little pancake tops. You little pancake ass, huh? Mmm. Have I never had a McGriddle before? I've heard of them. 
I think this is my first fucking McGriddle ever. Because why else would I? I wouldn't... I think I like it. Make another bite just to be sure. Mmm. I do like it. I like it. Sometimes I just look at my neighbor's houses and their blinds are like open, but I can't see if anybody's in there. But I'll just wave or do a thumbs up just to make them know that I'm watching them too. And then that way they might not hang out by the windows as much. They're like, I see you. And then I don't see anyone, but they don't know that. They like, fucking saw me. No way those are those should be legal. Those definitely have caused some fucking serious heart attacks. A lot of napkins here. trying to be rude, but it is my channel. <laughs> Jesus, McDonald's looks be gassy. Luckily, I got a big back and arm workout and conditioning today. And then I get a all day off for the stem cells tomorrow. Had to go do two coronavirus tests. The first one wasn't good enough for him, so they had to go back and swab both my noses. Not pleasant, I can tell you that much, but also not horrible. The, the, the swab goes all the way. They have to go all the way in. I guess the best way, they have to go... Why do I have to be such a pervert at times? It's like they have to touch the uterus of your nose for the people that don't understand. Like, they gotta go deep. And then it's like it causes your eyes to water. Like, and then they just say, one second! And then... You like reset, you're like, thank God that's over. And then fucking Karen goes, now the other one. It's okay, I do this to kids. Oh, so that makes it cool. Everyone's just watery eyes. I don't give a shit. Glad it's over with though, but healthy big guy over here. Got my stem cell tomorrow. Okay, shut the fuck up and leave the review, I know. All right guys, McDonald's breakfast here. This was a mukbang of all mukbangs. This was a real, Fucking, fucking, fuck bang, muck bang. And uh, I'm gonna, underdog of the day was the sausage burrito, very to like a dollar something on the menu. Man, if you're on a budget and you need to feed you and your 17 kids, right there. That is the way to go. You can get your, your money's worth with those guys. Those were delicious. Um, the spicy biscuit, the spicy chicken biscuit, uh, breakfast sandwich um, not bad needs a sauce so very dry so if you're getting it ask for some sort of maybe like a ranch or something there I don't know if they have mayo packets or anything it could do with a little something for the breakfast for the that it will make it a lot better if you like dry stuff though that's your bet but it's actually really good just needs a little sauce on it the uh, sausage egg cheese McMuffin guys always that was that was absolutely delicious that was uh, the, the, the hash browns. I could fill those, I could throw, I would love to fill my pool up with hash browns all mashed together and me with a, two ketchup bottles and just run and jump in and pour ketchup all over myself and fall into the hash browns. God, what a fucking experience that would be, huh? Make a YouTube video out of 
Ryback jumps in the pool of hash browns. Heavenly. Can't use my pool though, that would be a real bitch. It would really clog up the drain. It would really be really tough to clean that out. I'd have to use someone else's pool. If anyone let me use their pool for that, let me know. Um, the uh, McGriddle. I think that was my first McGriddle I've ever had, guys. I was a little unsure going in. I was a little worried about what people were going to think. I tried it, though. Tried it again. And I finished it. I really liked it. I didn't, I don't, feels weird saying that, but the sugar and the fat, Ronald knew what, I mean, Ronald clearly knew coming out with that whenever they did, how many ever years ago, I know it's been a long time, but that was going to fuck up some people's lives. Very addictive. Crack-like. Even though I've never done cocaine. Very proud of never, ever touched cocaine. I don't need to when I got this much energy. I like my dick working, too. Okay. Guys. I'm giving this breakfast four... I'm giving it four and a half stars. And the reason why it's not higher is because the spicy chicken biscuit. If they have a sauce with it, I think it would have been a five-star breakfast. Really, really happy with this. So, thumbs up wise. Right there. <clears throat> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you guys coming into my home. Now it's time to get the fuck out. All right, subscribe to my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, all podcast platforms, Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report on the same channel every Monday, podcast on Conversation every Thursday. Got Leo Rush this week. We had Trent Beretta last week. We got some really big guests on the show, guys. Thank you very much. Come out, feed me more nutrition. Feedmemore.com and Amazon. New customers save 20% with discount code new customer. Regular buyers, you could always save 10% with discount code YouTube10. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for the 225,000 subscribers, guys. On our quest to 500,000 and are on our quest to a million. I'm the big guy right back. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.